What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thanks for checking out the channel on today's video. This is Andre Roman with the Andre Roman Fitness Channel. Uh, in my last video, I talked a little bit about my reverse diet um, following my recent cut and how I set that up in terms of my nutrition. Uh, today I wanted to elaborate and go over a little bit more about how I set up my training and cardio uh, schedule for my reverse diet to go along with the uh, nutrition. Uh, so uh, first thing cardio wise, um, I, my cardio right now is it's a 40 minute uh, very low intensity uh, fasted cardio walk each morning that I do after I get up um, have a little bit of coffee and kind of get going a little bit and then I come back and I have my first meal but uh, cardio wise that's what I'm doing 40 minutes um, every morning just a nice easy uh, cardio walk and I'll usually do some stretching and like my shoulder um, exercises when I get back from that as well when I'm nice and warmed up but uh, that's what cardio looks like. Um, in terms of training, uh, definitely keeping the training volume relatively low, um, working in enough rest stage to manage the fatigue and make sure I'm still recovering, um, kind of getting everything rejuvenated after the cut when I was training hard and taking not very many rest days and kind of really setting my body up to be super fresh and ready for my off season to like really start like, you know, seven weeks or so of my reverse diet has ended. Um, the split right now, I set this up, uh, it's kind of like a push-pull leg split with a little bit of variation given that I want to have a little bit more rest days and I wanted to add one additional arm day. So it's basically a 10-day split, I'll put the graphic up, but what it is, it's push-pull legs rest, push-pull rest legs arms, where I put the extra arm day, rest and repeat. So a 10-day cycle, I'm trading every body part essentially uh, twice with the exception of arms, which I'm hitting three times over that 10-day cycle. So that's what the, the uh, training uh, split looks like. In terms of the volume, kind of what, to give you an example of what a typical session might look like, uh, this is what I did today, actually, my first week of doing it. Um, and I will add volume gradually as I start my off-season and start getting more calories to be able to support that for right now. Um, today is, was push day, so I did um, six or, or seven exercises basically. I did um, one uh, pressing movement for chest, shoulders, and triceps, and then one more isolation movement for each of those. So I started out with um, incline dumbbell press. I did you know, a couple of uh, work, a couple of warm up sets, that was my first exercise. Uh, worked up to my last set of 120s, which I did to failure. I got about eight reps, good quality, slow, controlled reps, and that was it for that movement. Uh, moved on to um, shoulder press, and I was already pretty much warmed up, so I did kind of like a heavy warm up with 75, just like five reps to get the feel of it. And then I did my heavy set, 90s, one set all out, did like nine reps of that. That was the end of that, that exercise. I moved on to a close grip bench press, did uh, one like kind of moderate warm up set with 185, through 225 on there, I did one good set to failure, like 10 to 11, I think I got today. That was into that. Uh, moved on, I did the uh, machine chest flies. For the isolation movements, I'll do usually two to three working sets today. I did just two sets uh, of like 12 reps or so to failure. I already said, I don't even remember what the weight was. Um, shoulders, then I moved on, I did uh, cable lateral raises, two sets on each arm for about uh, 13 reps, and last minute was trying to set press downs, and I did those for uh, like two sets to failure of about 11 to 12, and that was it. Oh, and then one burnout set of push-ups that I like to do sometimes on push day, where I'll do at the very end, uh, like a set of push-ups where I'll start with wide grip, as many as I can, kind of, or I'll start with uh, narrow grip as many as I can, I'll kind of do a few more and kind of work my way out to where I have a pretty wide grip at the end. I'll just do like one superset burnout uh, of that, and that was the whole workout. So beginning to end, um, took me maybe like 50 minutes total. So it's, it's like I said, the volume is low, but the intensity is high, and it, it's definitely, um, you know, going to help me kind of get recovered and kind of, make, you know, get ready to go for the next part of my training when uh, I'm ready to start hitting it hard again and pushing some weight. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's how I have it set up. Um, so I'll keep you updated on how that's going. But I uh, appreciate y'all checking it out. I'll throw the graphics up as well, kind of to give you a visual. But um, leave your questions, comments down below. And until next time, appreciate you guys. I'm out. Whew.